Amy's troubles at home affecting her judgment in court. You're going to jail. Judge Gray. We are finished. You sent her to jail because you're mad at me. After this powerful episode, the Gray family will never be the same again. All new Judging Amy, CBS Tuesday. Monday on an all-new Late Show, Dave welcomes John, the latest Survivor castaway. Plus, from that 70s show, Ashton Kutcher, and an all-new Top 10. Now your local news. Hey, a change in the temperatures headed our way. Will it be a cool one or a hot one on Monday? I've got that answer. A Virginia Beach community is searching for answers tonight after an elderly man is found dead in his home. I'm Stacey Davis. I'll have the story live. And a local pastor answers to charges of sexual abuse from a member of his own family. Stay with us. The news is next. It's a beautiful morning. Wake up to a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, just 99 cents at Hardee's. I'm telling you, this is the best deal in town. I got the cruise control, air conditioning, power windows, door locks, and mirrors, all for $1.89 a month. <laughs> what? Not this. No, 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 what? You, you sound like a car commercial. Didn't they tell you? The Civic from Honda. It figures. Now you can lease a 2002 Civic LX for $189 a month for 36 months. Race online and get the $6 burger free from Hardee's. Plus, print out an entry form to win tickets for the Hardee's 250 Bush Series and Pontiac Excitement 400 Winston Cup races. Then take the lead into Hardee's and be a winner. With coverage you can count on, News Channel 3 at 11 starts right now. We all feel like we're secure, but a tragedy has happened. The suspicious death of a local dentist shakes a Virginia Beach neighborhood. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Harvey-Jones. Police in Virginia Beach have been on the scene for most of the day, where an 88-year-old man was found dead in his home. Tonight, a community is in shock. News Channel 3, Stacy Davis is live in Virginia Beach with details. Stacy. Well, the man was found dead in his home in the upscale waterside community of Birdneck Point, just off Laskin Road in Virginia Beach. Now, police are only saying that the man's death was highly suspicious. He was found with an injury to his head, but investigators aren't saying whether it may have been from a fall or whether it may have been someone hitting him with an object. The police cards are of no interest. Our loss. A lots of a dear neighbor. Polly Bouchard has lived across from Dr. Norman Sedell for 32 years. He was a very outstanding dentist in the community. In fact, he has so many friends already. I've had calls today from some of the other dentists who have already heard of the tragedy. The 88-year-old was found dead around 1 p.m. on Sunday. Investigators have been combing the house ever since. I know Norman loved living over there. He has a big greenhouse where he grows orchids, and he's very uh, articulate and astute. I saw him a couple months ago, and... I could call him on the phone and say, will you go check on my parents? They're not answering the telephone, and he would. Coincidentally, that is exactly how Sedell was found. He wasn't answering the phone, so his son came over to check on him and found him dead. I just stood there at the mailbox for a few minutes, just two days ago with Dr. Sedell, and we talked about what happened last Sunday night. What happened Sunday night exactly one week ago is Sedell's home was ransacked. Police say nothing was taken and don't know if that incident is related. I'm concerned for my parents living across the street because they're a little bit older. And we are depending on God to take care of Norman yeah. and his family. We pray for his family. And that Sedell's wife passed away a few years ago, but he does have three children, a daughter who live with him in the home, and two sons. And I'm sure that they, as well as the neighbors, are hoping to find out exactly what happened to this man. Police say they expect a medical examiner's report sometime tomorrow. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, Stacey Davis, News Channel 3. Still a lot of unanswered questions. Stacey, thanks. Here's Tal White with your exclusive triple-dollar forecast. 
but we still do have a chance for thunderstorms out there later tonight. The storm's very distant from our area. Let's show you what we have with triple Doppler. I've got it on the widest sweep possible right now. In fact, we're looking out 100 miles or more from each area, from Suffolk down into Buxton as well. When we take a look at the regional radar, though, you can see we do have some moisture way out to our west. We're talking about in West Virginia. In fact, we've seen some watch boxes throughout much of the evening hours, even the nighttime hours, but they are starting to drop out. You can see no watch boxes right now, and that's some very welcome news. That means likely no severe weather for the overnight hours. Things have calmed down because the sun has gone down. We will end up seeing the chance for some thunderstorms around for the nighttime hours into early tomorrow morning, even up to about noontime. But beyond that, sunshine back in the forecast. Another big change coming to the forecast. So, Kelly, we've got the triple Doppler seven day forecast coming up. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks, Tal. Well, accusations of sexual misconduct in the Catholic Church continue to surface, and Pope John Paul II has called leaders of the Catholic Church to Rome. Today, a number of American cardinals, including Boston's Cardinal Bernard Law, left for the Vatican City to discuss the ongoing child abuse scandals. He and the other cardinals will meet with the Pope on Tuesday. A local pastor is defending his reputation after allegations he sexually assaulted his niece five years ago. Speaking to his congregation at the First Christian Church in Norfolk today, Pastor Lane Hurley vehemently denied the charges made by his sister. I told them both at the board meeting and then at the congregational gathering that I did not do this. I told them literally to not only read my lips but read my heart. Hurley's wife, his parents, and hundreds of members of his congregation are standing behind him. News Channel 3 has not been able to reach Hurley's sister for comment. A hearing is scheduled in Pennsylvania in May on this case. In Currituck County, North Carolina tonight, rescuers pulled a baby and an adult from a car that was submerged after an accident. Now, Nightingale flew the two victims to Centera Norfolk General Hospital around 4.30 today. That accident happened along Route 168 in Moyot. Their car was fully submerged in water after crashing into a ditch. We're told the baby was not breathing when rescue crews first arrived, but rescuers did manage to resuscitate that baby. In Virginia Beach tonight, fire on the water destroys a 35-foot pleasure boat. They were inside. The owners were inside a restaurant when their boat went up in flames today. It was on a trailer at the Virginia Beach Fishing Center. Luckily, no one was injured during the incident and no other boats were damaged. Police are investigating the cause of that fire. A day after the USS Batan Amphibious Ready Group returned to Hampton Roads, another homecoming. The Coast Guard Cutter Laguerre pulled into Portsmouth today. The ship has been cruising the Caribbean Sea for more than two months. It took part in training exercises and it helped with Homeland Security. Hundreds of passengers were stranded for a whole day at sea after the 207-foot cruise ship they were on ran aground. The Nantucket Clipper is based out of Wil Wilmington, Delaware, and first ran aground about 1 a.m. Friday in the intra-coastal waterway. It was freed, but then got stuck again two hours later. All 114 people aboard docked safely in Moorhead City around 11 a.m. yesterday morning. The rising cost of tuition hits Norfolk State University. In-state undergraduates can expect to pay 6.1% more, or about $100 a year. But the increase for out-of-state undergraduates is going up by 18%, which amounts to $900 a year. University officials say the increases are necessary to cover the rising cost of educating students. It's a new safe haven for women, and today it opened its doors. We'll take you.